I knew because of that situation, my daughter, I knew love would do whatever it could do in any given situation to fix that situation. And if God is love, I know he would and has done whatever he can do to fix a situation. So if he has not done something, it's not because he doesn't want to. It's because he cannot rightly do it and remain just. Which means sometimes the way you want him to fix it isn't the way he could fix it. Because if he did it the way you wanted him to, it wouldn't be just. It wouldn't be right. You say, well, I just want him to heal me. Okay, then he's made a way to do that through the sacrifice of Jesus. So healing is yours. It's already done. Now it's back on you to receive it. But he's already done it. He gave his son. You can't ask for more than that. Because you'd do anything for your son. So he's given that. He gave his son. And if he gave us Jesus, will he not with Jesus give us everything else? If he gave us Jesus, why would he hold back here? So he's not holding it back. So if he's not doing something the way you want him to do it, it's because the way you want him to do it is not what he could. He couldn't do it that way and be just and righteous. So you have to look at it from his viewpoint. But first off, you have to understand who he is, that he is good. And you have to give him the benefit of the doubt and go, I know you would if you could. You say, well, but God can do anything. No, he can't. He can't lie. Isn't that right? He can't change because the minute he changes, he puts himself under Satan. The minute he changes the word going out of his mouth, now he becomes a liar. That makes him make Satan his father. See, there's a, there's a whole thing here that you've got to realize if certain things haven't happened the way you want them to, it's because God can't do it that way. Now, what he did say is, oh, you want to be healed? Call for the elders of the church. They'll anoint you with all. That's one way. Oh, you want to be healed? Then find a believer that can lay hands on you. That's another way. So these are legal ways that he can get you healed. But too many people try to blame him. Why? Because I can tell you for sure, love will do whatever it can. And if it's not doing what it can, it's not love. And since God is love, God love is doing what love can do. Does this make sense? So, if you're a parent, you'd do anything to help your child. Even as they get sentenced to prison, you do anything you legally can. What you can't do is you can't break them out. You can't help them escape. But you'll stand there and cry for them and tell them, we'll visit, we'll do everything, we'll work on your appeal, we'll, we'll do everything we can. And you won't stop. And, you, and yet people go, but you know they're guilty. I know. But I love them. So love doesn't stop. It'll keep on going no matter what. No matter how much it gets hurt, it'll keep on going. Why? Because the love is greater than the hurt. Why? Because hurt is of the devil and God is love. So God is greater than hurt. If you'll let him be greater in your life, he can remove the hurt. He can get you past the hurt. And you say, well, will there be a scar? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There'll be a scar. And you know what? That scar will make you stronger in that thing. That's that, that scar. You'll, you'll be able to brag about that scar. This is what God did. See that scar? God did. Here's how God fixed that. See, I can talk about my daughter now. There was a time I couldn't talk about her. But I can now. Why? Because that's a scar God healed. And one of the ways he healed it was he showed me what love is to be able to help somebody else not have to experience that. And if the religious leaders of the day had been faithful, they would have preached the message I preached today about healing and my daughter would still be alive because I'd have done it. I'd have followed it. 